Welcome to K-Hawk Jeopardy. Our topic this week is bus safety. Let's meet our contestants. First, we have Cindy. Cindy is an honor roll student at CHS and is top of her class. Then we have Sam. Sam is a sweet but quiet student who enjoys long walks on the beach. Next, we have Jake. Well, let's just say that's Jake. Our categories today are at the bus stop, bus seat safety rules, emergency equipment, when to evacuate, and how to evacuate. We will start today's show at the bus stop for 100. When should you arrive at the bus stop? Cindy, what is your answer? Well, in my experience, it's best to be at the bus stop five minutes before the bus arrives. Correct. Let's move on for at the bus stop for 200. When at the bus stop, where should you stand? Jake, what is your answer? I ride a bus. Anyway, Sam, do you have an answer? In a safe place away from the road. Correct, Sam. You should always wait for the bus in a safe location. Let's move on for at the bus stop for 300. What two things should you watch for when the bus comes to a stop? Cindy, what is your answer? You should always wait until the stop sign is out and flashing along with the yellow crossing arm. Correct, Cindy. Let's move on for at the bus stop for 400. When is it safe to cross the road to board the bus? I've got it. I win. I know. I know. I know. Let me have it. Come on. I know. I've got the Calm down, Jake. What is your answer? After the chicken. That is not the correct answer. You should only cross the road when the bus driver waves you to cross. Let's move on for at the bus stop for 500. When crossing the street, how many feet in front of the bus should you stay? <coughs> Sam, what is your answer? You should leave 10 feet between you and the bus. Correct, Sam. Now let's do bus seat safety for 100. What are the students doing wrong in this video clip? because you've been so loud and obnoxious. If I'm watching you, I am not watching the road. You guys need to sit down in your seats so we can get you home. <laughs> There's nothing wrong there. Sam, what is your answer? They need to listen to the bus driver. Stop throwing things. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, now that everybody's come, let's repeat the answer. Always follow the bus driver's instructions. Do not throw any items on the bus. Let's move on for bus seat safety for 200. What should students do when their bus comes to a railroad crossing? Great, Jake. What is your answer? Correct, Jake. Remember, always stay quiet when crossing a railroad. Your bus driver should always hear when a train is coming. And let's move on for bus seat safety for 300. What two bus rules are being broken in this video clip? Cindy, can you tell us what rules are being broken? You should remain in your seat until your bus stop and never put your arms or hands outside of the window. Correct, Cindy. Now let's move on for bus seat safety for 400. If you see someone sleeping on the bus, what should you do? <coughs> Sam, what is your answer? You should always wake up a sleeping person and tell the bus driver. Correct, Sam. And Jay, can you please try to stay awake during the show? And now let's move on for bus seat safety for 500. What should you do if you or someone else is being bullied on the bus? 
Sam, can you please tell us what to do? If someone's bullying you or someone else, you should tell your parents and the bus driver. Bullying isn't cool. Correct. And remember, bullying is not cool. Now let's move on for emergency equipment for 100. What are the first three things you should do if your bus driver is not responding? Cindy, what is your answer? If the bus driver is not responding, the kids need to take control. First, you should turn on the emergency brakes to keep the bus from rolling. Next, put the bus in neutral. Turn on the hazard lights to warn oncoming traffic. And finally, turn off the bus. Great job, Cindy. Now let's move on for emergency equipment for 200. If your bus driver is not responding, how should you call for help? Jake, what is your answer? Use the radio to call for help. Breaker, breaker, this is bus 113. We need assistance. Correct, Jake. Now let's move on for emergency equipment for 300. What do you use to put out a fire? What is your answer? You should use the fire extinguisher. There's one in front of the bus. Let's move on for emergency equipment for 400. Where do you find band-aids and other supplies for someone that is hurt? Jake, what is your answer? Oh, yeah, that stuff's in the first aid kit. Let's move on to our last question in emergency equipment for 500. List the five main emergency exits on the bus. Cindy, please list the exits. The five exits are the front door, rear door, roof hatch, kickout windows, and kickout windshield. Let's move on to our new category, when to evacuate for 100. Do you always exit the bus if there is an emergency? Sam, what is your answer? No, you should stay on the bus if it is safe to do so. Correct, Sam. Let's move on when to evacuate for 200. What should you do if there is a fire or an occasion of a fire? Jake, what is your answer? You get off the bus. Correct, Jake. Let's move on when to evacuate for 300. If your bus has an emergency in an unsafe location, what should you do? Jake, what is your answer? You get off the bus. Correct, Jake. Let's move on when to evacuate for 400. Name a natural emergency in which you should evacuate the bus. Sam, give us an example. You should get off the bus and go to a safe location if you see a tornado. Correct, Sam. Let's move on to when to evacuate for 500. Name a natural emergency in which you should stay on the bus. Cindy, name that emergency. Well, obviously that would be a blizzard. Correct, Cindy. Let's move on to how to evacuate for 100. Should you take your belongings with you when you evacuate the bus? Jake, what is your answer? No, you should leave your stuff on the bus when evacuating. You are more important than your belongings. Leave them on the bus and evacuate safely. Let's move on to how to evacuate for 200. What are the students doing wrong in this video? Sam, what are these students doing wrong? They should be leaving their belongings on the bus and they should not push, run, or yell. Correct, Sam. It is very important to stay calm and follow all safety rules. Let's move on to how to evacuate for 300. Which students should serve as leaders in case of an evacuation? Jake, what is your answer? The older students should act as leaders. Let's look at this video to see how to evacuate using the rear emergency door. All right. The, you see, back in my day, we got off the bus safely. To open the rear door, pull the emergency handle up and to the right, and push the door open. Be careful not to fall out of the bus. When exiting the bus, you should sit and slide out. Students will be there to help you. Let's go on to how to evacuate for 400. 
How far away from the bus should you go when evacuating? <coughs> Sam, what is your answer? You should be 100 feet away from the bus. Correct, Sam. Let's move on to our last question, how to evacuate for 500. What popular movie is this clip from? Jake, what is your answer? Ferris Bueller's Day Off. You are correct, Jake. Yes, I won. <sighs> Thank you for watching K-Hawk Jeopardy. And remember, we're all winners when it comes to bus safety.